Hi, welcome back to ZW3D Design Tutorial. It's Ben. This time, I'll talk about converting 2D to 3D. In this lesson, you can learn how to create a bevel gear with 2D drawing. Also, you can get more familiar with how to use the shape command and how to use the wireframe. So, let's get started. First, create a new file and name it Bevel Gear. Then, import the DWG file with the import function on File menu. Set the filter so that you can just get those geometry elements as you want. After importing the DWG file, we can find it consists of two drawings of a bevel gear. Let's align it into a proper position before shaping with it. Choose Move Command and pick the second option. Select all the elements of the upper drawing. On the context menu, choose Center Curvature. Pick this circle and move it to point zero. We use the move command again. This time we pick the first option and choose all the element of the smaller one. Switch to top view. Then align this drawing to XZ plane. Input the angle here. 270. Click OK. Once more, choose the Move command. Choose all the elements. Pick the second option. On the context menu, this time we select Between and move it to original point. We pick these two points. Then type 0 here. Click OK. Next, let's use these two joints to create the bevel gear. First, change the view to front view. Select the revolve command. Choose insert curve list on the context menu. Then, select these curves as a profile. Choose Z axis as the revolve direction. Set the revolve angle from 0 to 360. Then we can get a shape like this. After this basic shape, let's go to the wireframe tab and choose the command project to face. Pick a profile of gear tool from the drawing and pick this face as the projection face. Define the projection direction. Click OK, and we can get a project curve as this one. For creating the gear 2 shape, we still need another profile to accomplish it. So just repeat the operations by selecting the projected curve, and then pick the face which is opposed to the previous one. After that, we still need another curve to enclose it. So I will use the curve from the edge to get another curve. After we got the two curves, we still need to trim the unnecessary part. So, pick the trim command to trim it. At last, we can get the profile like this. And then, let's use these curves to create a shape of gear tool. Select Loft command. Insert curve list. Change the filter to curve and pick this one. 
then switch to the back and repeat the same operation we just did. Here, remember to maintain the same direction with the first selected curve list. After that, we need to pattern it since there are 50 gear tools. Use pattern command and pick the shape we just created. Select the pattern mode to circular and set the direction as z-axis. Input the number and angle here. After this, we need to subtract them since we need to get the gear tool shape. Next, select the combine command, pick the revolve shape as the base, and select these pattern shapes as the operator. Then we can get the bevel gear like this. After this, let's create other features like the key slot and rip. First, use the extrude command to extrude a key slot with these curves. Change filter to pick the curves. Here, we input the extrude value. Starts from 0 to minus 70. Cancel this item and click OK. We choose extrude command again and use these circles to extrude the holes. Choose to point on the context menu to define the end value of extrude. Next, we go to the RIP feature. First, project the profile of RIP to the related surface. Pick the needed curves and faces. Choose Keep Original Curve. Again, we project other profiles to the surface. We still need to do it once more. Just repeat the operations and pick the curves and faces you need. In order to get a clear view about this shape and the profile, I first blank what I need. Change the filter, pick these curves and make them blank. Then, use the swap command to switch the view between the hidden geometries and the displaying geometries. Now, we just see the shape and the curves. Use the revolve command to revolve a rib with the curves. Insert curve list. Pick these curves. Select Z axis as the revolve direction. Define the start and end angle. Choose the second option of Boolean. At last, we still need to create the ribs in other positions. So, let's pattern it. Set the filter as feature. Pick the feature. Define the direction as Z axis. Input the parameters as the screen shows. Finish. Now we have completed the beautiful gear.